I always hear people say, I just trail ride. I don't need to know all those training techniques about getting a horse to round his body and use his back end better and be softer on his shoulders. And today's video of me working spade is going to show you why that is so important, even if you're doing simple things like trail riding. The problems that he gives me here in this video are pretty major problems and are all stem back to him not carrying his body correctly. Hello, welcome to Tim Anderson Horse Training. I'm working spade today. He just came in the other day. Ride him around a little bit and see what we get and, and I'll kind of evaluate what he does and we'll go from there. Let's go ahead and trot a little bit and see what happens. All right, so that's a pretty good indication there. Ask him to work a little harder and he wants to throw a little temper tantrum about it. So what I'm going to do, pull his head around and I'm going to keep sending him forward in that trot with his head pulled around to the side. He's trying to tell me he don't want to work. Left leg, left leg, left leg. It's kind of falling in. He's wanting to fuss about my legs. Send him back forward again. I had a question come up on another one of my videos that uh, I, I answered in the comments, but I think this would be a good time to mention it. And the question was, when the person turns their horse into a circle, the horse wants to speed up. So basically, they're circling the horse in a circle and then going faster which is actually a, a fairly common issue with a horse that's lazy or out of shape. And it's contributed to by how the rider pulls the reins. If you notice, I'm always pulling my hand up here, up here. And what that does that keeps that horse's shoulders up and engaging in the back end. What happens when you pull down here? You're inverting your horse's back and the horse feels like it's going downhill. That's why I always lift up. There. See, I lift up, elevate the shoulders, and get roundness in the back. I'm not trying to make him put his head in any particular position. I really don't care where he puts it. He's going to put it where it's comfortable for him when he elevates his back. Good boy. We'll stand here just a minute and let him chill out. I don't mind him looking around too much. He hasn't been out here very much. So in the process of getting him more mentally willing to work. There's a couple things I'm going to do to work on his physical fitness at the same time. Even though he's pretty fit as far as he's not breathing really heavy, he don't have much muscle tone. And I want the work that I'm asking him to do to be as easy as I can make it be. So when we're moving around, I'm going to ask him to lift his body up, lift his shoulders, lift his back, round his body, and build these muscles up down his back and in his hips. That's going to make the things that we're asking him to do easier for him because he's going to have the muscles to do the things that we're asking him to do. All right, I'm going to ask him for a little bit of a lope and we'll see what we get. I'll walk a few steps. I'll never lope out of a standstill. I'm expecting him to have a little bit of a temper tantrum when I ask him to go because he did it at a trot. I'll see what we get. One thing I'm seeing right off the bat very front end heavy. 
he slipped and got mad about it. He don't really want to work that hard. It's a little slippery over here. He needs to pay attention. Now I do use my hands in the same way. Do a little bit of lift as I ask him to steer. Being front end heavy, he's wanting to speed up again. Lift, lift, and get soft. We'll lift, steer, and get soft. Muddy spot right there. He wants to fuss about. Now you notice I'm not holding a constant pressure. I'll steer, make something happen, and then I'm gonna then I get soft. If you notice, after I get soft, he really falls on his front end, kind of lugs down on his front feet. That one was better. Right there, he hit that mud. He's pulling himself through that wet spot with his front end instead of pushing through it with his back end. And up steer, get soft. Better. Hand up steer, get soft. Hand up steer, get soft. Up steer, there we go. It's getting better. Hand up steer. Didn't lug through the mud as bad. He's using his back end a little better. Steer a little more. This is going to be a nice horse. He needs a little muscle tone in the right places. He needs to learn how to use his body correctly. Needs a little better work ethic. I'll walk him just a minute, then I'll lope some in the other direction. See how he is about picking up the right lead. He picked up the left lead really nice. The biggest thing that I'm seeing with this horse is he just needs to learn how to use his body more correctly. I think if he uses his body more correctly, Everything's going to be easier, and he'll be a lot happier doing his job. All right, so we're going to ask for the right lead, put the left leg back, tip his nose to the right just a little bit, sit back. There we go. He didn't push off in that lope departure very good. It wasn't very good. He's charging in this direction, and that's because he's so down on his front end. It's a bad lope departure. Steer, lift that inside rein, steer. Lift, steer. Lift, steer. There we go. See how much he slowed down with that one lift and steer? Do it again. Lift steer. Get soft. Lift steer. Lift steer. 
go. Felt on his front end. Felt that right shoulder go down. I felt him speed up. Left steer again. Left steer. And you notice I'm making contact with both reins. I'm not just pulling the inside rein when I'm steering. Tilting his nose with the inside rein. Steering with the outside rein to get some shoulder control. And I'm using a little bit of outside leg. All that slipping he's doing, because he's heavy on his front end. He's worse heavy on his front end and his right lead than he is left lead. Left steer. There we go. Let's go straight a little bit. Left steer. Come on. See, I got that left shoulder poked out. You got to bring that shoulder in. There we go. I get that right shoulder up, left shoulder in. Right shoulder up, left shoulder in. There we go. I got it. Just slow down. He's laboring more going this lead because of his body frame. Not sure how much of that you're going to be able to see in the video. I try to point it out when I edit the video. Left steer. There we go. Left steer. Get soft. Left steer. All right, I'm going to go down the arena, go straight further. His head go up, shoulders went down, sped up, inverted his body. Now he's acting like he didn't know how to steer again. He's got to pick his feet up. He uses his back end better. He uses his back end better. Picks his feet up, he'll quit stumbling. Lift steer. There we go. I'll get down here where you can see me again. I'll let him take a break. Now, what I'm not going to do this time is ask him to slow down by that fence. That's where he wants to slow down. That's where I would rather slow down, training wise. But I think as soon as I quit telling him go, he's gonna slow down. He there we go. You notice I didn't pull him all the way to a stop. I just pulled him into a slowdown. Look how lathered up he is. How sweaty he is. And that is all caused from him not using his body that is all caused from him using his body so poorly in the right lead i got my long underwear on it's probably in the temperature's probably in the 50s he didn't work that hard to be that sweaty that's all that he made the work hard on himself because of how he used his body so we'll walk him just a little bit I don't want to just stand after that loping, even though that wasn't that much loping. I don't want to just stand. The thing that we've learned about him is he is a little on the lazy side, but he's mostly lazy because he's carrying his body in a way that makes what we're asking him to do hard. So the work is hard, so he really doesn't want to do the work. Well, the work really isn't that hard. He's making it harder because he has his body so inverted. So what I'm going to be working on over the next few rides is getting him to carry his body more correct, not necessarily trotting and loping longer or harder, making him do that same amount of work more correct, back up, shoulders up, back end engaged. And that work is going to become easier for him. We need to work the right lead more than we work the left lead because the right lead is where he's most inverted. 
this right side is really weak. We need to get that up. And we'll go from there. That'll be what my next few rides are. And I will keep you informed of how Ace is doing. Until next time, thank you for watching.